acknowledge that I dreaded an explosion of desire. I was overcome with panic, for his temper was volcanic, and I didn't dare revolt, for I feared a thunderbolt. I was always very wary, for his fury was ecstatic, his refined vocabulary most impressively inflatic. To the thunder of this tartar, I now thunder like a martyr. When intently he was fuming, I was gently unassuming. When reviling me completely, I was smiling very sweetly. I was smiling very sweetly, very sweetly. Giving him the very best and getting back the very worst. That is how I tried to tame your great progenitor at first. Giving him the very best and getting back the very worst. That is how I tried to tame your great progenitor. I found that our reliance on my threatening appearance and a resolute defiance of marital interference and a gentle intimation of my firm determination to see what I could do to be wife and husband too was the only thing required for to make his temper supple and you couldn't have desired a more reciprocating couple ever willing to be wooing we were feeling we were cooing when I merely from him parted, I was nearly broken hearted. When it simply reunited, we were equally delighted. We were equally.